Hello students, in this video we're going to be talking about formulating systems of equations. And first we're going to talk about some vocabulary. So first the word formulating means basically creating or writing. So you're going to be writing and creating some formulas. A system of equations, remember, are two or more equations that represent a situation. And when you solve a system of equations, you're basically finding out where the equations intersect or if they don't intersect at all. So I know writing equations is one of the harder things for most kids to do in math. Um, and a couple years ago, one of my students came up with this method that I'm about to show you. And it works so well for everybody that I've been teaching it since then. So um, here we go. We're going to jump right into an example. So the admission fee at a small fair is $1.50 for children and $4 for adults. On a certain day, 2,200 people enter the fair and $5,050 is collected. How many children and how many adults attended? Um, so if we want to write a system of equations and solve it to represent the situation and figure out how many children and how many adults, first thing we need to do is decide what our variables are. And clearly, so it's what we're looking for. And in this case, we're looking for how many children attended and how many adults attended. So I'm just going to do C as number of children. And I'm going to use A as number of adults. So those are my two variables. Then we're going to use a matrix to organize your information. Now, you can use either method you want. I prefer reduced row echelon form, which uses just the one matrix. But if you prefer the other method, then that's fine, too. You can use whichever one you like better. So I'm going to start off with a three-column, two-row matrix, because I've got two variables, and I want to do reduced row echelon form, so I do need that extra column. So I'm going to draw that out. Now. However many variables you have, they each need one column to represent them. So I'm going to put children in the first column. I'm going to put adults in the second column. And the other thing we know is the total amount collected and the total number of people that came to the fair. So I'm just going to put uh, uh, equals the total for my third column. So basically children plus adults equals my total, which makes sense. Now, for my two equations, I basically have two types of information. I have cost, and I have the number of people that showed up. So I'm going to put um, number of people on the first row, and I'm going to put the cost, or the dollars collected, on the second row. And you can flip-flop those. It doesn't really matter which one goes first. Just like if you wanted, you could flip-flop the variables, put adults and children, doesn't matter. So now I'm going to fill in the information from the problem that I know. So I know for total number of people, 2,200 people showed up, so that's a total. I'm going to put that here. 2,200 total people showed up. Now for children and adults, they basically just, just counted them. Each child was worth one, each adult was worth one, so one, one. Now, if they had said, like, there were twice as many children, something like that, then I'd put a 2 for children. But, um. Okay, so now let's do our cost. So each child paid $1.50. So I'm going to put $1.50. And each adult was $4. So I'm going to put 4 for adults. And they collected a total of $5,050. So I've basically got two equations here. And before I show you the solution, which um, if you're doing this at home, you don't have a TI Inspire on you, so I don't expect you to enter this in your calculator right now. It's fine. Just kind of follow along. Um, before, but before I show you the solution, let's talk about what the equations would be. If you needed to graph them, for instance, or if there was a problem asking you what are the equations, you would just basically take these are your coefficients. This is on the other side of the equal sign. So my equation, if I need it, is going to be 
one child, so I'm just going to put C, plus one adult, so I'm just going to put A, equals 2200. My other equation, again, if I need the equations, here's my coefficient for C for child, so 1.5C plus $4 for the adults equals $5,050. So if you needed the equations, that's how you would come up with them once you organize all your information. Okay, so um, like I said, I prefer the reduced row echelon form method, so that's what I used in my example. And when you enter that in your calculator, you will get something that looks like this. So 1, 0, 1500, and 0, 1, 700. And this is number of children, because that's where the one is in the matrix. Remember, that's what that represents. So number of children is 1,500. And so look for that one. It's in the adult column. So that means the number of adults is 700. Okay, so that's how I would formulate or create the equations. And there's my solution. So I do want to try another one with you on the inside and we're going to leave three four and five for in class okay so go ahead and try to follow along with number two again i understand you probably don't have an inspire so just kind of think to yourself how would i fill out this matrix which method do i prefer and that kind of thing so a landscaping company placed two orders with a nursery the first order was for 13 bushes and four trees and totaled $487. The second order was for six bushes and two trees and totaled $232. The bills do not list the per item price. I'm not sure who would ever do that. But apparently this nursery does. What were the costs of one bush and of one tree? So again, the first thing I want to do is figure out what are my variables, what am I looking for? And I'm looking for the cost of a bush and the cost of a tree. So I'm just going to use B and a little cursive T, so it doesn't look like a plus sign. And I'm going to go ahead and set up my matrix. And again, I personally prefer reduced row echelon form. But if you prefer the inverse matrix method, that's fine. You can do it that way. So I am going to set up my matrix. So I need a column for bushes, a column for trees, and a column for the uh, total cost. And then I have for the two equations, so they give me kind of two situations. I have first order and the second order. And just like the last one, you could put tree first or, and then bush, doesn't matter. You could put the second order on top and the first on the bottom. None of that matters. As long as you've got your variables in your columns, your total in a column, and your two Equations are your two kind of situations. So my first order was 13 bushes, four trees, for $487. My second order was six bushes, two trees for $232. So again, if I need equations, this is how I would get them. Just take your coefficient with your variable and then your total. So 13B plus 4T equals $487. And 6B plus 2T equals $232. Bam, there's your equations. And the solution to this one would give you this matrix. So bushes, trees, total. which means each bush is $23 and each tree is $47. Yay! Okay, so pause if you need to in order to get all that. Um, 
And we'll try the next three examples in class. Just make sure you've answered the questions that are in this video and that you kind of understand those and then you're good to go. Thanks for watching.